This individual came ashore a couple years ago in North Carolina. The folks at UNC Wilmington got a call and, and responded to the event. And when they got down there, the animal uh, was extremely fresh. A beached whale that hasn't decayed at all can provide a wealth of information to researchers. And to their surprise, scientists realized that the whale showed characteristics from two different species. It outwardly looks like a say whale, the baleen looks like a brutus whale, and then we went through this discussion. So you whale experts were divided on exactly what kind of whale it was. It, exactly, and, and when we came to that realization, we said, hey, then, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer, we have to collect it. As they examined the beached whale, Charlie's colleagues at UNC Wilmington discovered the human cause behind its demise. It had a large groove cut across yeah, the palate. Here yeah. to here, right? Yeah. What is that? And when the animal came ashore, it had a piece of line entangled in its mouth encompassing the baleen. And that, that line was slowly cutting into the bone and, and causing this groove. And uh, we speculate that it picked up some discarded gear of some kind. And as you can see it, it slowly wore its way into the bone here. Um, and it interfered with the animal's feeding, and so it was probably a pretty miserable death. A sad commentary on our misuse of the oceans. We use the marine environment as a dumping ground, and this marine environment This is their is, habitat in their yeah, home. This is their living room. Right. And we're throwing our trash in their living room. And so but this creature's tragic death may have led to an important breakthrough. For scientists now believe this could be an entirely new species of whale. This individual, genetically, is within the same group or clade of the things we call Brutus whales, but it's not genetically identical or the same as what we've been calling Brutus whales in the western North Atlantic. We've been looking at these animals along our waters for the last 300 years, and yet... You're still discovering new still things. still discovering them. That's, that's great.